this is David with David's Tutorials and in today's video I'm going to give you an introduction to fields in Microsoft Word. If you've been using Microsoft Word for a while the chances are pretty good you have wanted to put in some information that changes over time such as the number of pages in the document, the number of words in a document, or the table of contents, or perhaps the date that the document was last saved. Fields in Microsoft Word are what can do that for you. A field in a Microsoft Word document is basically a placeholder for information that might change. Fields are used whenever you create automatic page numbers or a table of contents. There are several ways to insert fields in a Microsoft Word document, and there are more kinds of fields than you or I would ever want to learn. Today we will cover a few of the more commonly used fields and show you how to insert them and how to modify them. For our example today, let's insert into a document a field that shows the number of words in the document and another field that shows the number of pages in the document. The document I'll be using for this example is a set of bylaws for a nonprofit organization and I'm using the latest version of Microsoft Word in Office 365 currently in September of 2018. You can see here at the end of the document, I have a new line where I'd like to insert the number of words and pages. We will cover three methods of inserting fields and how to control and manipulate those fields in your Word document. The three ways of inserting a field are mouse to field dialog, keyboard to field dialog, and manual insertion. Let's look at the mouse to field dialog first. The first step when inserting any field is always put your text insertion cursor at the place where you want your field to go. I'll do that now, here in the line at the end of the document. Using your mouse, click on the Insert tab, then find the Text group, then click on the Quick Parts button. This will bring up the Field dialog box. In the Field dialog box, you can select a category if you wish, the fields we want are in the Document Information category, but let's just look at all of the fields. And then select which field you want to insert. Here we can see num words in the list. If we click on it one time, we can see a description of this field near the bottom of the dialog. If I decide I don't want to insert a field after all, I can simply press the Escape key on my keyboard, and this dismisses the dialog box without action. To use keyboard shortcuts to get to the same dialog box, press Alt-N, Q, F. This also brings up the fields dialog box. Now I use my down arrow key to highlight the num words field, but at the same time let's notice the field just above it is num pages. I want to remember that field name for the next field. Finally, with num words selected, Let's press the Enter key to insert that field into the document. Now we have the number of words inserted at this place in our text. It is interesting to note that when Word calculates the number of words, it is before inserting this value. But once we do insert the number of words, that adds a word to the document, so the total number of words will be one more that is initially inserted. If we edit the document and change the number of words, this field will be updated whenever we tell Word to update the fields. We'll get to how to do that in a moment. The other field we want to insert is the number of pages in the document. Let's do that one manually. To insert a field manually, you need to know the name of that field, which I learned while looking at the field dialog a moment ago. Place your text insert cursor where you want the field to go, here, and press Control F9. You'll probably recognize as we go through this tutorial that the F9 key has a lot to do with fields in Microsoft Word. Pressing Control F9 will give you a gray highlighted field surrounded by curly braces. Type the name of the field inside these curly braces. In this case, I will type num pages. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase or mixed, it should still work. Once you have typed in the field name, press F9 to exit the field insertion mode and display the results of the field. If you want to edit a field, place your text cursor on the field to get the highlight, then press Shift F9. This will allow you to edit the contents of the field. Here I am changing 
num pages to num words. Now I press F9 to see the value. I want to re-edit that, so I'll press Shift F9 and change num words back to num pages, then press F9 once again to see the number of pages in the field. If we edit the content of the field that we inserted with the field dialog, you'll notice the original num words field has all uppercase and it has extra formatting data. This is just what is inserted by Microsoft, and of course, it works just fine. To delete a field, like this number of words field, place your text insertion cursor after the last displayed character and hit backspace twice. One, two, and the field is gone. Now let's reinsert the number of words, but this time add formatting that puts a comma in the correct place. We will use the fields dialog box to allow us to format the number. Use Alt N, Q, F to open the dialog box, select num words, and this time we will click in the number format selector, the third option down. Click OK or press Enter, and you see now the number is properly formatted with a comma. Finally, let's talk about how to update our fields. In our test document, I will delete the last part of this sentence, but you'll see the number of words did not change. To be updated, the field or fields must be selected, then press F9. You can select the entire document by pressing Control A, then press F9 to update all the fields in your document. Another way to update all your fields automatically is to trick Word into thinking you're going to print the document. First, you need to make sure you have two settings set properly. To get to these settings, go to File, Options, Display. And in the Printing Option section, check the box for Update Fields Before Printing. Next, in the left-hand column, click on the Advanced section, scroll down to the Print section, and be sure the box is checked for Allow Fields Containing Track Changes to Update Before Printing. Once you have these two items set, all you need to do back in your document is press Control P to bring up the Print Options or Print Dialog, and Word will automatically update all your fields. You don't even have to print the document, you can just go back to your document. That's it for this tutorial, everyone. I hope you found it helpful and fun, and now you'll be able to use these kinds of fields in your own Word documents. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give us a great big old thumbs up so the YouTube robots know that you found it to be a good one, and leave a comment down below so that other people can see how you might be using fields in your documents. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click on that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial here on David's Tutorials.